Hey everybody, welcome back to 90 and Out. I'm your host, Timothy Holt, and today we are continuing in book one of the Psalms. A little recap, uh, book one of Psalms. The overall book of Psalms is an anthology of 150 Psalms separated into five books, individual books, each one with a certain subject matter um, and theme. Book one are all Davidian Psalms with the exception of Psalm 33, which is anonymous. So today we're looking at Psalm 38. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Psalm 38. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. A Psalm of David to bring to remembrance. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your hot displeasure. For your arrows pierce me deeply, and your hand presses me down. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your anger, nor any health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head like a heavy burden. They are too heavy for me. My wounds are foul and festering because of my foolishness. I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly, I go mourning all day long, for my loins are full of inflammation, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and severely broken, I groan because of the turmoil of my own heart. Lord, all my desire is before you, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart pants, my strength fails me. As for the light in my eyes, it has also gone from me. My loved ones and my friends stand aloof from my plague, and my relatives stand afar off. Those also who seek my life lay snares for me. Those who seek my hurt speak of destruction and plan deception all day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. Thus I am like a man who does not hear, and in whose mouth is no response. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord, my God. For I said, hear me, lest they rejoice over me. Lest when my foot slips, they exalt themselves against me. For I am ready to fall, and my sorrows are continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity. I will be in anguish over my sin. But my enemies are vigorous, and they are strong. And those who hate me wrongfully have multiplied. Those also who render evil for good, they are my adversaries because I follow what is good. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O oh my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. That is Psalm 38. You can just feel the anguish and desperation, the despair, the depression that David is writing about here. If you have access to a chronological Bible, uh, you can find out exactly where in David's life he's writing this psalm. And it's quite interesting uh, where he is credited to write this psalm. But you can see his desperation. He's crying out. You can feel it. It just tugs at the heart. He's surrounded by enemies. He's on the run. He feels like death is pending and looming over him. And he still cries out for God. 
No matter what is happening in your life, no matter what, don't take my word for it. Pick it up, read it for yourself. I read from the New King James Version today. Uh, it's one of my favorite versions. Check it out. Um, pick it up, read it for yourself. And may the Jesus you find be the Jesus in me.